What is going on guys? It's Spyman here and today I am going to bring you guys a Pokemon Showdown replay of a battle I had earlier today and real quick though, Pokemon isn't really something I play. In fact, I rarely ever dwell into it. I haven't dwelled into it for a really, really long time, for years in fact. I think Black and White first came out. And I never particularly dwelled into it, like really played it, but... I do sometimes play it with friends or just for fun, you know, just for old times' sake. Um, but I still have some competitive battling left in me, so it, it's all good. So today I'm battling with this guy named Pavlog98, and he did pretty well in this battle, I'm not gonna lie. And, uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. So my opponent is gonna lead off with Gyarados, Mega Gyarados, as I lead off with Clefable. And figuring he'd probably Dragon Dance, predicting my Moonblast, I go for the Thunder Wave, just to cripple it a little bit. And this turn I ended up going for Stealth Rock, which I felt was a really dumb move. I definitely should have gone for Moonblast, especially considering what happens next. I go for Moonblast on his Mega Evolution this turn, because I figured he'd probably stop boosting and just go for Mega Evolution Waterfall. And it does 98%. Good lord, so much damage. Um, but yeah, I wish I had Moonblast it, but now my opponent is going to switch into Rose Ray because he is paralyzed and I can outspeed him. So I go straight for Moonblast again in case he did not want to make the Rose Ray play, but he does, which is fine because I do have a Tangrowth and a Scizor. Well, I wouldn't really say Tangrowth, but a Scizor in the back. And I go into Tangrowth just to scout the HP fire. Um, he goes for the Sludge Bomb, which I kind of figured because it is Stab. And as I go for the knockoff, just to get rid of its black sludge to hinder its healing. And I'm going to switch out, get my regenerator, and I'm going to go into my scissor, which was a pretty risky play. And he goes for synthesis, so we've seen sludge bombs and synthesis and arrow therapy. And here it's pretty much confirmed that he probably has like Giga Drain, not even sleep powder. But I switched out anyways into my um, cure him just in case he did decide to go for the HP fire. Um, but it saved light in, so I'm going to switch out into my Fable. Just to absorb the will o -Wisp, the knockoff, whatever, because Clefable is a wall to most Sableyes. Uh, so I figured he'd probably switch into his Rose Raid. So I'm going to go for the Synth... not the Synthesis... Uh, the Soft Boil, just to get my HP back. And I can take another Sludge Bomb from this thing, and I did that damage calculation. So I'm going to be able to get off a Thunder Wave on this thing. And then I'm going to be able to get off another Soft Boil this turn as he goes for the switch out with a natural cure into his Rhyperior, which is fine. I mean, I can't really do much to our Rhyperior, just because I'm not offensive, obviously. So I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go out into my Tangrowth, which is a nice little switch in into... I could have gone to Keldeo, but I felt like Tangrowth was much safer in case he predicted that and went for the Earthquake. So I'm going to double switch into my Scizor, get my Regenerator, go into Scizor. As I figured, he'd also go into his Rose Raid. And he's going to actually switch out, and now it's confirmed he can't touch me. So I'm going to go for, I believe, a Mega Evolution U-turn here. Yeah, there we go. Do some damage to the Sableye, get my switch initiative, and be able to go out into my Fable, which obviously counters the Sableye. And he's going to switch into his Rose Raid, and I believe I double switch here. No, I go for Thunder Wave, predicting to switch into this thing. And I believe... I don't know what I do here. Oh yeah, I go for Moonblast just to get some damage as he goes for the Aromatherapy just to heal himself. Uh, but like I said, I can easily take a Sludge Bomb from this thing so I can just go for another one. But he's actually going to synthesis up as I go for a second Thunder Wave. Or, not a second Thunder Wave, but another Thunder Wave. And now I'm going to switch into my Genji <laughs> Overwatch. Figuring he'd probably Aromatherapy or switch out. And here I figured he'd switch into his Rhyperior. So I believe I go for the U-turn. Yeah, I go for the U-turn. There we go. As he turned out to be Rocky Helmet Rhyperior. And I'm going to be able to U-turn out into my Tangrowth. Like I said, Tangrowth is a great switch into Rhyperior. Bulky Tangrowth, I should say. It's physically defensive. Because Ice Punch really doesn't do that much from a bulky to a bulky Rhyperior. And I just went for Giga Drain in case he wanted to stay in for whatever reason. And I'm going to go into Genji because I knew that this thing could not touch me, like, whatsoever. His only damaging move from my Scizor is Giga Drain, which I time for resist. And I'm going to go for the Roost this turn just to get my HP back. And I think I go for the Bullet Punch just to get some damage off. Yeah. As he ends up going for the Earthquake, which doesn't really do that much because I, I am bulky. And I'm going to be able to get off a Defog and a Roost next turn with my Scizor. And then I believe he switches into Sableye this turn. No, he goes for Stealth Rocks. Okay. 
I go for bullet punch, kind of hoping for a minimum roll because I wanted him to live so he couldn't freely switch into a Sableye. But he actually turns out to go out into a Scrafty as he starts Dragon Dancing up. And I just get off a of default because his Stealth Rocker is dead, may as well. Don't want my current beer Thunderous taking damage. And I knew I could live a plus one Drain Punch quite easily. And I'm going to be able to get off a of Roost. Uh, so I don't think I can. So I figured I couldn't stall this thing out for long with Roost. So I'm just trying to get as much damage in as possible before his Drain Punch can. Uh, before he can gain much HP back, but I'm going to switch this turn, go into Clefable, which is kind of a scrap, which is a scrafty counter, because it, it's time for a week to fairy, and it's, and Clefable resists its dual stab, so he knocks off my left turn, which is kind of unfortunate, because I have to rely on softball more, but I'm going to be able to take out a scrafty with Moonblast quite easily. He's going to go into Sylveon, who turns, which turns out to be Choice Spec Sylveon, which is really a threat. It's a threat. But I'm going to go into my Genji just to scare this thing out with the bullet punch, which would obviously Oko. And I actually do end up going straight for the bullet punch. And I'm going to switch into my Tang Growth, I believe, because Ice Fang probably won't even do that much. And I also wanted to rack up some uh, Rocky Helmet damage on this Gyarados. And he's going to switch out now, which was a really good play, preserving his, uh, his Gyarados for later. But now I'm going to switch out, because he can Oko me with a Sludge Bomb from that range, so I'm going to go into my... Genji, knowing that um, he really can't touch me at all, he doesn't even have sleep powder to put me to sleep, so I'm going to be able to roost off any damage he did to me, and I think I go into Tangrowth to take the Will-O-Wisp here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I go into Legend, the, uh, <laughs> the Legend, the mystical genie of the lamp. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to be able to take the burn, and I'm going to go straight for the Thunderbolt as he's going to end up sacking off his Gyarados is fine, and uh, he's going to end up, yeah, he's going to die, obviously, and he's going to want Sylveon now, and I believe I Thunder Wave this thing just to cripple it as much as possible, I could have gone for the Life Warp Thunder Wave, though, I don't know why I didn't, that would have done a ton of damage to this thing, and I could have just spammed Ice Beam later on, now that I'm looking at it, uh, but he's going to want to save a lot, and I believe I switch out just so I don't take the Prankster Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, switch into my Tangrowth now. Yeah, this is when I take the Will-O-Wisp from this, from this uh, Sableye, but really, Tangrowth doesn't really care that much about status because it does have the Regenerator. Well, especially burn damage and not badly poison damage. And I'm going to be able to knock off his leftovers. See, the thing with Tangrowth is it's not there really to do damage. It's just there to be utility, mainly. And he's going to switch into Rose Raid. This will go for the Sleep Powder in case he wanted to switch into either his Sylveon or just stay in. But Rose Raid was definitely the best play, so I probably should have figured that. So I'm going to go into my Scizor. Like I said, his, his Rose Raid can't touch my Scizor, so every time this thing comes in, he either has, he has to switch out. So I'm going to be able to go for the Roost this turn, which is good. And now I can switch freely into my Tangrowth just to absorb the potential will as he goes for the Foul Play, which isn't going to do anything because I don't have any sort of attack, and he's going to go for... And he's obviously going to take Rocky Helmet, too. And I believe I go for the Giga Drain just to get a bit of damage and some HP back at the same time. And this turn I switch out because I felt it would be a stall war at this point. So I'm going to be able to go out into my Fear Me, which is my Choice Scarf Cure in Black. One of the best wall breakers. And I believe he taunted here, predicting my substitute, predicting me to be the substitute variant. And he's going to go for the second will wisp as I go for another Ice Beam. Just to get, just, I wanted to for, I wanted to force this thing to go for a recover, essentially, is what I'm trying to say here. And I'm going to be able to go on to spike the Keldeo. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to be able to go straight for the Hydro Pump. I wanted to just do whatever I needed to, because Rosemary was an obvious switch, but because it was such an obvious switch, maybe he wouldn't go in predicting, like, the Icy Wind or something. And I think that's what he does there. And, uh, he's... His Sylveon does have the HP Fire, it's confirmed right there. Though this does give me the free switch into my Keldeo to go, I believe, straight for the Scald. Yeah, this is when I kill a Sableye, finally, with a Choice Specs Scald. And at this point in the battle, it gets kind of real. Because I'm trying to get his Rose Rate to kill my Keldeo. I want him to kill my Keldeo right now. So that way I can get a free switch into my Kirin B. Uh, and then just click Ice Beam. Because his Sylveon isn't going to be faster than me no matter what. Which is obviously great. And I'm just, he finally ends up killing my Roserade. Uh, but not before getting a lot of HP back. But it doesn't matter because I'm 
because obviously I'll kill him with Ice Beam no matter what. And I'm actually gonna end up double switching into my uh, my uh, Scizor here, figuring he'd double switch, but boy was I wrong. Uh, but now I'm gonna be able to go for the U-turn just to go right out into Kieran B. Because Kieran B does kind of threaten the remaining Pokemon on his team. Ice Beam is doing significant amounts of damage, obviously, because Kieran B is really strong. And he's actually going to go into his spec Sylveon. And here is where it gets intense. This whole time, I was uh, thinking of a 50 50 sh shot here. Because he has the chance to win. He's at the advantage here. Um, because the spec's HP. HP. Um, HP fire. Hyper Voice can still do a significant amount of damage to my Scizor. Um, but if he kills my Cure and B, I still have the potential to lose because he can just sack his Rosary. Actually, I don't know. I don't really know exactly. I was just really paranoid at this point in time because I was thinking that he would be able to um, do something to me. Okay, I don't know. But after Ice Beam, I was kind of confident, but not really. So I'm just going to resume the battle now. And I'm going to go for another Ice Beam. Just seeing what he would do as he actually ends up going for the HP Fire. Predicting my double switch into uh, Scizor. Which was not a bad play at all. But, you know. It, it's, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Because now I'm going to be able to go into my Scizor. And I'm just going to be able to bullet punch his... Um, yeah. Now I can just go for the U-turn. He's just going to go for Giga Drain. It's kind of hopeless at this point. Because I'm going to be able to take him out with a U-turn. Uh, the crit didn't really matter. The crit probably would have... Without the crit, it probably would have killed. So yeah, that was a really good game. One of the, one of the better ones I've gotten. But you know, that was a, that was a nice little game.